New York's relentless hustle and bustle can really wear you out. The perfect antidote is beautiful Central Park in springtime. I'm off to historic Belvedere Castle. It's the highest point in the park and the views are said to be fantastic. It was built in 1869 as a whimsical lookout. Righto, time to keep wandering. No shortage of wildlife, furry, feathered or otherwise. Here's peaceful Curbs Boathouse where all kinds of people sail remote control boats. Nearby, this Alice in Wonderland sculpture is one of the many tributes to New York's kids to be found in the park. Next stop, Bethesda Fountain. The guidebook says it was designed by the first woman ever to receive a public commission for a major work of art in New York. It's a focal point for music and fun. Perhaps something a bit jazzy. Or something a bit solemn. or something edgy. You can travel by horse-drawn carriage or you can go on foot. You can take a ride on the carousel as I did or stop to watch the New Yorkers play ball in the park or even visit the zoo. There's just one more thing to fit in today. A visit to Strawberry Fields. The memorial to murdered musician and songwriter John Lennon attracts gazillions of tourists, all clamouring to be photographed on the imagined mosaic. And on that note, I'll have to call it a day. Six hours of wandering and I've only seen half the park. I better go back tomorrow. <laughs>